Hey guys, it's your girl Raquel coming to you live this beautiful Arizona morning. I'm super excited for this video. As you can see, I already started some of the process, but today we're going back to basics. Um, how I started my YouTube was really with my infertility and my pinup looks with my booty. So I figured, why not go back to that? That's what people really started following me for. So, hey, that's what we're going to do today. So, I'm going to be using some of the products that I got from my BoxyCharm for May. And I'm really excited for you guys to see this. I'm going to be doing a retro um, pin-up rockabilly look for today. Of course, you guys can see... Um, I have my Rolling Stone shirt on, so don't don't pay attention to the outfit. So let's start with the makeup. I'm going to put some of this pretty vulgar primer. Is it's called eye eye primer? So I'm assuming it's just like my Urban Decay, but without a brush, I have to apply it with my finger. Urban Decay has a brush, but this is okay. I'm digging it. I like using my fingers. You guys seen that? So all I'm doing is applying the primer. I'm really excited for my hair look for today, guys. I'm gonna be doing that for you guys too. So I'm just applying the primer, just putting a nice little thin coat. I don't wanna have it too thick on my eyes, honestly. I don't like it when it's too thick. I don't wear makeup that often for me to literally be having it that thick. So we're going to go into my Monica by the U.S. Colors and I'm going to come in here with my Unity and I'm going to put that as my base for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to start with this and go here and just bring it all up to where my primer is. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know want to make sure it sets nice just want to add a little bit more powder it's Saturday here in Arizona and it's a doozy of weather it is the 16th of May so it's pretty hot here they said that our high temperatures are supposed to stop corona well we've had literally 700 cases a day and that's just confirmed cases we've had um deaths so it's like we're not sure we haven't left our house in forever no literally we haven't left in eight weeks sunday's gonna be week eight that we have been home in quarantine keeping everyone safe i hope you guys are all staying safe Okay, looks like I got enough eyeshadow stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the color Lure. The Lure color. Because that's gonna be my base for what I'm going for my look for today. Get my good old handy cotton nail, ultra soft. I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever. Now, I don't want a really heavy, dramatic look because eh, they didn't really use too heavy of makeup back then. And if they did, it looked very natural. Like, girls always look so crazy. I'm like, you're looking at a phone. Well, I have my humor mirror right here, too, but, you know, I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Blending is your friend. I'm just gonna go in there using this as my base color. Yes, it's somewhat warm, but I like it. Yes. So like it's a nice deep color for what I'm going for. So it works. I'm just gonna come over here, do the other side. We're literally just gonna repeat everything. So. Nice. So 
one's actually a little bit darker. Let me have a little bit more on this side. That's a lot better. I was like, oh, that's a lot better. Okay. Sorry, I have to be really precise. I have this OCD. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch over to my Revolution palette. on my powder there. I'm just cleaning off my brush. I'm gonna go to my Revolution color palette and I'm gonna come in this pretty maroon color. I'm going for more of the dramatic 50s look though. Wish me luck guys, we'll see. Hope you guys will like it. And don't worry about it getting smudgy right here because we're, we're going to add color there, so it's going to be okay. Okay, we're going to go and do the other side. I gotta clean this side up just a little bit. Um, let's come in here. Get the unity. Just clean it up. Just a little. Just cleaning it up just a little bit so it matches. Cause then I want to go in. This eternal is really pretty. It's really glistening. Let me see. I'm gonna go in with this eternal color. It's gonna be a little shimmery, a little bright, but it's okay because I want a little bit of pop. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Coming in with the eternal and I'm literally just blending it in how I want. I'm liking the color. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's pretty. I like it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more on this side. There, that's a lot better. Now I'm gonna come in back with my Revolution palette. I'm gonna come in with my burgundy. And I'm just gonna come in. Shadow just 
a little underneath my eye. Do the same with the other side. So we're done with that. I'm liking how that looks now. We're gonna have to do our cat eye. I'm using the Girl Lactic Precise Eye Maker Black Noir from, yeah, I got this from my Ipsy bag. So we're just gonna go in and I'm gonna start my cat eye. So that we're not all in your face let me come back when i'm doing my cat eye and then we'll start with the other look be right back okay guys i'm back sorry about that it's just always so intimidating trying to do a cat eye with your mouth out <laughs> if you haven't noticed that's how girls put on their makeup like yo we make the funniest facial expressions so i sometimes get a little intimidated and i'm just like i don't want them to see me do that face on camera so guys, what I'm going to do now is just apply mascara to finish off my look. I'll add some lips when I'm done with the hair. I don't want to put too much mascara. I don't want it to be overbearing. Okay, now we're going to work on the face. I definitely am not putting any face contouring, anything like that. It is too hot in my state. On top of it, like, I'm under a mask. The only thing that people are going to see from me are my eyes. So I'm going to just focus on that part and my hair. So what I'm going to do is just come in with some Physicians Formula Powder. And powder my face. I just took a little, put it on my brush, just tap it off and go to town. It's too hot, guys. It's too hot here in Arizona. So now that I have my face on, my powder. Took away all my blemishes. I'm going to put some blush on. I'm going to take my beautiful little Ulta blush brush. I'm going to go in with my Ipsy blush. Go on the apples of my cheeks and that's about it. I'm ready to do the hair guys. I'm ready to show you guys the hair, how we're going to do our hair today. So there's the makeup portion. Let me get into position and I will show you guys the hair. One love. All right, guys. So you guys were probably wondering why I have this section of hair out because we are going to do a fox bangs with this portion of the hair. And I'm going to show you what a fox bang is in a minute. So what we're going to do, I sectioned the hair out. I made sure it was good. Yes, guys, I have rainbow hair. <coughs> It will be coming up to being more pretty and rainbowy. <clears throat> That's for another video, though. So let's just stick to this one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going 
to curl the front of my hair. Cute little ringlets, just like that. I know, nothing too fancy, right? It's not too hard. I'm just gonna take it. Literally repeat. This is probably one of the quickest. If we were gonna do victory rolls, I'd probably be here another 20, 25 minutes doing each side. So we're gonna do a fox bang with bandana look. Super cute, super trendy. So you guys can see I'm uh, I, curling my hair all of the same direction. I'm not going all in different directions. I'm color, curling it all in the same direction. Okay, there we go. Now that we got our bangs curled, we're gonna put this section of our hair back because that's what we want. We want this section of our hair to be back. Alrighty. Now, what we're gonna do is come through and brush the curls with one of the fuzzy brushes. That's all we're gonna do. I like to get mine and sometimes I like to spray a little bit of got to be glued right here on the top. Just a little bit, well, it's quite a lot of it, so. <laughs> when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of it. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna start the fox bang. So how I like to start it is just take the ends and I just curl under. Take them and curl under, take them and twist under, take it, twist under, take it, twist under. And once we got it like that, guys, we get our handy dandy bobby pins. You guys know what these are, right? Bobby pins. Come, we get the bobby pins and we pin our bangs to our forehead. That's what it feels like. It's really not pinning it to your forehead. So what you're gonna do is really get in there. You wanna pin it and make sure it's pretty pinned in. I'm using two pins right now. I probably won't use more than that. Maybe I will, we're not sure yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mold our bangs now. Now when I mold my bangs, I like to mold them. I twist them a little bit more up and then I start to fold them out. You see how I'm just easily twisting my fingers and I'm bringing them about. So that's all I'm doing is I'm bringing it about, bringing it and about. Yes, there we go. Just like so, super cute. Bringing it down, making sure I don't have to use another bobby pin because if I do, I will. I just prefer not to use too many bobby pins. Okay, now we got our fox bangs. Yes! We get our handy dandy bandana. Because what look is complete without a flower or at least a bandana? When I do the fox bang, I like to go with the bandana. It's super cute and this color is perfect. It matches my shirt. Because of course, I'm wearing the Rolling Stones. So why not rock and roll <laughs> have you guys seen the new trolls movie world tour if not i suggest it highly it's pretty freaking amazing i've seen it eight times i'm a mom so i love it <laughs> just saying it was amazing for adults too so what i did is i got my bandana i rolled it in a really cute little way. Now I'm going to get my curls, my hair. I'm going to get it back. I'm just going to brush it out with my fingers, guys. You see, I'm just brushing it with my fingers, just expanding my curls. Then what I'm going to do is I'm taking my bandana and I'm placing it under just like a headband. We'll see right now. Let me make sure I get all my hair through. This would want to give me trouble with my hair. I usually put my hair in a ponytail, but if 
for you guys. I'm trying to like, come on, Raquel, do this. All right, guys. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take it right here, put the ears right above your bangs. You're going to tie it down. Tie it down, make sure your bangs don't mess up. If they do, just fix them. Get them pretty. Yes, there we go. Tie it down. Here we go. And make another knot. And there we go, ladies. We fix the bangs. So of course, we don't want our bangs to be messed up. Fix the hair. Because, of course, our hair is everything. Now, if you are one of those girls that like poofy curls, you can use your fingers. I like to use my brush just to make my curls a little more subtle. Now, I'm going to finish. Sorry. I'm going to finish my look with my lips. So, I got this beautiful pen sold yesterday in my boxy charm. And we're just going to do the lips. So I'm just lining my lips. I'm very into the natural colors. I was gonna do a bright flamboyant color, but I'm just gonna stick with the more neutral colors. I'm gonna fix my bang really quick because this side is just bugging me because you can tell in the purple. There we go. Now this is my back to basics. You guys fell in love with my rockabilly 50s pin up look. So I figured I'd come and give that back to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and share if you're loving it. Thanks guys. Mwah. Hi gorgeous ladies. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Of course, I'm having a glamorous day.